Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I wanted to do an updated version of my loungewear capsule. So I've never really done one of these before except that I think it was last year I did a video where I kind of gave you some styling advice on how to look good in loungewear but I never really showed you an actual overview of the essentials that I have in my own loungewear capsule. So that's what today's video is going to be all about. So it's going to be an overview of the essentials and then there's a few wishes on there just with some gaps that I feel like I want to fill in myself and something that I feel like I've been missing for a while in my own loungewear capsule. When it comes to my wardrobe, you guys know that I always start with my all year basic wardrobe. I always say that this is 80% of my everyday wear wardrobe, but really all the other sections that I have in my closet as well always kind of evolves around that basic wardrobe. So I sort of have that in the middle and then from that I have other little mini capsules or sections of my wardrobe where, you know, some of it is seasonals, some of it is loungewear like I'm gonna talk all about today, some of it might be um, occasion wear. So I sort of try to work around the whole thing like that. So whenever I style up outfits, no matter the occasion, I kind of like to move around in these different sections and I like to have this more fluid and free approach to the capsule wardrobe system as many of you guys probably already know. So this way of sectioning my wardrobe into little sections or capsules while still having a huge part of my wardrobe that is just basic and that's kind of my canvas, it allows me to keep an overall wardrobe structure. So as you can see here, I've sort of made an overview of my essentials first. So sort of my loungewear go-tos. And then I've made a section here with different outfits for comfy nights in on the couch. Um, these are no-brainers and I think that most of us just want to be comfortable. We don't really care what we look like when we sit on the couch. But the whole idea is that you can then take each of these outfits and you can add a few everyday wear essentials to them to kind of lift them up and to make them more suitable for the street, basically. Some of the items that I have in my own loungewear capsule are older, like the Adidas hoodie is older and something that I bought some time before I really got into supporting ethical brands. And then along the way I've kind of added on to it, I've replaced some older items. Usually I don't really throw anything out, so if I've had, you know, previous items in my loungewear capsule that, you know, were just not looking that nice anymore and not really, you know, fulfilling my needs anymore, let's say, let's call it that. Um, I kind of always downgrade it to practical wear. So the clothing that I do painting in or gardening or anything where, where I'm allowed to get a bit dirty. So that's kind of how I downgrade the clothing that I have in my wardrobe. The same way I really like to sometimes take, you know, basic t-shirts or something like that, that, you know, I don't really use that often anymore and then add them to my loungewear capsule. And if it doesn't fulfill my needs in that section of my wardrobe, again, I tend to downgrade it to that practical section of my wardrobe. So like I said, I have a couple of older favorites on this overview and then I have some um, newer purchases as well. And then I have a few gaps here as well that are sort of more some wishes or some gaps that I like to fill in at some point along the way, but I'll get into that in just a second. Overall, what defines my way of working around loungewear in general is that I like to invest in items that are in great quality when I add something new to my loungewear capsule. So they have to be comfortable above all, of course, but they also have to be in great quality and they have to be easy to maintain as well. You know, I don't want to have items in my loungewear capsule that, you know, you can't throw into the washing machine that you have to dry clean or that's really delicate, if you know what I mean. It has to be sturdy, it has to be um, strong enough for me to be able to lie around on the couch and kind of has to be sturdy. And then all while being comfortable and suitable for just lounging around in the house, I really like it to be stylish or at least easy to style up. So um, it's really important for me that it has, you know, it's again that it's comfortable, but it has a great fit so that I can easily add something from my everyday wardrobe to spice it up and make it look more like an very a very casual everyday outfit. I wouldn't wear any of these outfits to 
the office. Don't get me wrong here. It's not about being completely slouchy like that, but it's more, you know, outfits that are suitable for a quick walk with the dog or a quick grocery run or um, if you're traveling and you want to be very comfortable, especially on those long haul travels. So I think that's enough for the intro. Let's have a look at the different categories I have in this loungewear capsule. So let's start with the tops. The first top that I have here on the overview is a gray basic sweatshirt. This is not something that I have in my own wardrobe actually. I do have one that's very stained, but I only ever wear that if I know I'm not gonna leave the house. Or again, it's something that I would maybe wear if I'm gardening or doing something where I can get a bit dirty. So I would really like to add a Gracie crew neck sweatshirt to my loungewear capsule. Sometimes I just use my Calvin Klein sweatshirt, the one that I have in my everyday wardrobe, but that's, for me, I know it's still a sweatshirt and it's definitely something very casual. I do tend to use it for loungewear sometimes, but for me, it was a really expensive piece, um, you know, when we're talking sweatshirts anyway. So for me, it's a bit more fancy and I actually tend to wear that one more if I'm, I would actually wear that to the office with a pair of jeans and a blazer. So it's a bit more of a fancy item for me and I would like something that's a bit more casual. So this one is from Everlane, it's just their basic, um, I think it's called French Terry crew neck or something like that, but everything will be linked down below. Then the next sweatshirt that I have on my overview is this hoodie from Adidas. I bought this when we were in San Francisco a couple of years ago. I love this hoodie. I use it a lot, especially during weekends or holidays. I like to, again, kind of mix it with my everyday wear with a pair of dark jeans and a leather jacket and a pair of sneakers when we're walking around in the city and I want to feel snugly and comfortable, but still stylish. So this, this one definitely fulfill, fulfills that need for me. Um, but at the same time, I can just wear this with a high bun and a pair of very loose fitted sweatpants for a night in on the couch as well. So this is definitely um, a great piece for me. So let's move on to the two basic t-shirts that I have on this overview. Now, I also have basic t-shirts in my everyday wear wardrobe, in my basic wardrobe, so I sometimes just use one of those. But it's always nice to have a backup in your loungewear capsule as well. Oscar's making some noise down here. He just got a trim today, so his fur is a bit irritated. Yeah. So for a while I've been wanting to get my hands on the Organic Basics menswear t-shirts. I've tested out their women's t-shirts um, and I absolutely love their t-shirts. They're very soft and very durable. They're made in organic cotton in this long fiber sort of cotton so they last for a really long time as well. And because of these long fibers they will keep their shape, they will keep looking nice wash after wash and yeah I can't rave enough about these t-shirts. So I just sort of wanted to add these two to the overview just to show you that they're still essentials for me both for everyday wear but definitely also for loungewear. Um, so I'm actually wearing one of the Organic Basics t-shirts today in the men's version because um, I really like the design of a men's t-shirt in general because the crew neck is a little bit higher than the women's wear tend to be. Often a women's wear t-shirt show a little bit more skin here around the neck and I don't know what it is, but I just like it better when it's more masculine and when it's hugging the neck a bit more. I also feel like it looks better when I'm layering a bunch of necklaces like I've done today. And then also I'm kind of hoping that it will help me with the whole yellow pit stain situation. I've recently discussed this with you guys in one of my recent videos. I have been testing out several different options for you know more natural kinds of deodorants but they're just not strong enough for me i really need something that's a bit more strong so at the moment i'm just back to regular antiperspirant even though it's kind of against my will like i've also said before but it's just really the only thing that works for me and then the problem is that whenever i'm wearing a t-shirt that's too tight fitted underneath the arm, then eventually you'll get these yellow pit stains, which is a pain in the butt because they're really hard to remove once they're there. So I'm kind of hoping that this more loose fit with the men's t-shirt is going to help me with that. So the one that I'm wearing right now is a size small and I think I could definitely size up in a size medium if I wanted it to be just a bit more loose, but it definitely sits really well on my body. And like I said before, it's just super comfortable. So. So 
moving on to something else from Organic Basics. Um, just to get this out of the way, I was actually gifted these items to test out. So this t-shirt is a gift. And then the underwear that I also have on my overview was also a gift. So these are part of their new soft tech range, which means that everything is made in one of the most sustainable fibers out there, which is Tencel. So here I have, for example, the soft tech bra. And the reason why I wanted to include this underwear on the overview is because I'm a huge fan of fuss free underwear, both for you know everyday life, but definitely also when it comes to loungewear. So even though I don't really count underwear and socks as part of my capsule wardrobes because they're just essential, I don't really count them. I still wanted to mention this underwear today because when it comes to loungewear and everyday wear in general, I absolutely love fuss-free underwear. Something where the elastics are not too tight, but everything is still hold, you know, held in place. And also, I am a huge fan of bras, again, that holds everything in place, but that are made without any wires. I haven't worn, you know, actual bras with wires for years because it's just so un uncomfortable. Like, this is so comfortable, I could almost sleep in it. I know that I'm definitely lucky because I have a small bust, so it's no problem for me with these wireless bras. Um, but I do think that even though you have a bigger bust, you'll definitely get lots of support with these bras. So highly recommend Organic Basics for very comfortable underwear. Also quickly wanted to mention this tank top that they sent me. This is also from the Soft Tech range and it is really, really soft. This tank top is something I could easily wear with a pair of sweatpants as well if I'm a bit too warm or just if I don't feel like wearing the bra, I would just put this one on and then put a hoodie on top of that just to kind of take a day off with the whole bra thing. Um. So let's move on to the pants. I have put two pants onto the overview and that's because I have two different pants in my own loungewear capsule. So I have these grey French terry sweatshirt pants, <laughs> sweatpants from Everlane and these were a newer purchase. I think I bought them a couple of months back. And they're just a very basic kind of sweatpants, um, very comfortable and yeah, not, not really much to say about these really. I got mine in a size small and I actually expected them to fit a bit more fitted on the legs. So a bit more snug around the bum um, because it kind of looked like that on the model on their web shop. But then when I got them, they were just hanging really baggy on my own bum. So I could definitely have sized down. I'm actually considering um, taking them in down the leg right here to make them fit just a bit more snug um, because right now they're actually so baggy that I wouldn't really wear them outside of the house unless that I'm wearing something you know a long jacket or something to kind of cover my butt because I feel like it just looks a bit too slouchy to wear outside of the house um, so just something to keep in mind they're definitely not as fitted as they look on their web shop um, you could easily size down like and normally I'm a small or medium in like pants and bottoms generally and this is a size small but i could definitely have sized down in an extra small so yeah just keep that in mind then i have a pair of black trousers right here i also featured these in my latest loungewear video the one that i mentioned in the beginning um these are not from a sustainable brand i've had these for a couple of years i got these when i was working as a designer for the brand Ichi. So I actually got these home with me because we just launched them at that time. And then a bunch of us got them home to test them out and to see how they were wearing. So I still have them and they're a great fit. They're more fitted than the other ones. They're more um, appropriate to wear outside of the house, I would say. And they have some nice details. They have some pleats right here and then they have a cropped fit. So you can see just a bit of your ankles as well elasticated waist on the back and then the drawstrings on the front right here. But again, if I were to replace these pants with something from a more ethical brand, I would definitely check out People Tree because they make a lot of nice um, sweatpants and the same case with Arm Armed Angels. Again, they also make a lot of great sweatpants. I'm not really a huge fan of like wool sweatpants because I'm a very warm person. So when I when I'm laying on the couch, for example, I just know that my bum will get too sweaty in a pair of wool pants. And I know that Everlane makes like cashmere wool pants, which looks amazing on the web shop, but I just know that they're not for me. Plus, I feel like they would probably be a bit too high maintenance for me as well. 
Um, I need something I can just throw into the washing mas machine and something that won't like get really fussy and things like that. So these are perfect. So let's move on to the shoes. Now the home slippers that I have here on my overview is something that I don't have in my own loungewear capsule. I definitely need a pair of cute home slippers. Even just for wearing inside the house, I still wanna look kind of cute. You know, I do have a husband walking around here. I don't have to look like I don't give a shiz. Um, so yeah, I definitely love to add a pair of home slippers. And these are from Tom's and I don't, I'm not really sure about their sustainability, but I definitely know that when you purchase slippers or shoes from Tom's, then you definitely support a lot of social um, good causes and things like that. So you're definitely taking a stand when you support a brand like that, I think. Um, if you know any other sustainable or ethical uh, shoe brands or slippers brands, please write them down below. Um, so let's move on to the two sneakers that I have here on the overview. The first pair is my Veya sneakers. And these are also part of my all your basic wardrobe. Um, so it's not like they're a fixed part of my loungewear capsule. The fixed part is actually more like the sweatpants and the sweatshirts. But I still wanted to include them on the overview because it's definitely an essential kind of shoe for a loungewear capsule in general. So this is the Veya V10 sneakers and I have these in my regular size. Um, they are a bit stiff in the beginning, but once you've really worn them in, they are super comfortable. I wore them on our last trip to London a couple of months back where we walked like 20,000 steps every single day and I didn't get a single blister or anything like that. You just kind of need to work your way into them and make them a bit more soft and then they'll definitely get a lot more comfortable. Plus, they're really classic sneaker. I wear these to just about anything. so. Highly recommend these sneakers. So the last shoe that I wanted to mention today are these navy blue beauties from Everlane. So many of you probably already know that Everlane recently launched a whole new sneaker brand called Tread. And they've done that to kind of challenge the entire sneaker industry because it's it's very it's a very wasteful industry so the cool thing about these sneakers is that they're made from you know i think it's like 94 percent not virgin plastic so recycled plastic and then they've also made them with other sustainable materials such as sustainably sourced leather and they're really comfortable like they have a bit of height here in the heel and i like the way that they kind of lift me up and it's just a really cool, timeless sneaker. They seem very sturdy, but they're super comfortable at the same time. Um, you guys know that I'm not much of a sneaker girl. I'm kind of hard to convince when it comes to sneakers in general, but these are definitely gonna be a fave, if anything, definitely for my loungewear capsule or just for casual Sundays with the family or whenever I just want to wear comfortable footwear, but still look kind of stylish. Um, so yeah, I chose them in this navy blue color because I think that navy is such a classic color that I actually don't have enough of in my own wardrobe. Like these with a white t-shirt, a pair of jeans and a navy blue blazer, for example, would look absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to really start wearing these. So moving down on this overview, like I said in the beginning, I have created four different outfits just as kind of an idea for some different outfits for a comfy night in. So all of the outfits include a comfy top and then a pair of sweatpants and then those slippers. So yeah, this is something that I would typically wear on a Friday night or just, you know, a day where I feel like staying inside of the house working and just, you know, writing a lot of blog posts or whatever I'm doing, editing videos. Um, because then, moving down in this overview, I can easily add some items from my everyday capsule or from my spring capsule even to kind of lift the outfit if I'm gonna go for a walk with Asuka, if I need some air or if I'm running down to do some grocery shopping or again, like I've said before, if I'm gonna go traveling. So it could be very simple items like a well-cut blazer, a pair of sunglasses and a great bag. That's an easy way to make a loungewear outfit look a bit more stylish. I also sometimes take the loungewear tops that I have 
and wear that with everyday wear. So I could easily wear that Adidas hoodie with a pair of jeans and a leather jacket and a pair of sneakers like I did almost all throughout my Easter break. Um, so it doesn't only have to be the jackets that I add to my loungewear items. It can also be jeans or other bottoms from my everyday wear that I add to my loungewear, sweaters and hoodies and things like that. So there you have it guys, a full overview of what I believe are great loungewear essentials. Let me know if you'd like me to do a version with my sportswear as well because I do have a great selection of sportswear also from ethical brands that are both you know ethically made but still looks chic and we all need a bit of motivation sometimes when we want to drag ourselves down to the gym so wearing something that looks kind of cute while working out never really hurt anybody so let me know down below if that's something you'd like me to do as well don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video and if you'd like to see more slow fashion related videos also make sure you follow me over on instagram because i upload daily outfits over there as well i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all in the next one bye guys